Hello everyone, Sherlock Phantom One here, and yes, today is the day. Today is the day my expectations were thrown out the window. Today we are talking about the live action Christmas special, A Loud House Christmas Movie. A film based off a currently running series called The Loud House, about a boy named Lincoln who shows viewers the hectic lifestyle of a household consisting of 13 people and his adventures of being the only brother to 10 sisters. Now my first question when I saw this movie was being made was why is it being made in live action? Because one of the biggest differences in sometimes often problems with going from cartoons to live action is the loss of free movement and vibrant colors used to make the scenes stand out. For example, in the show we see all of these characters as different people with different styles and personalities, a lot of which is shown through their character designs. So when you take away that element, you're left with the problem of all things and people looking the same. For example, look at these two different images, one being from the cartoon and the other from the live action cast. Notice in the cartoon all the characters look different and have their own style, but when we shift over to live action, Action, we see a similar copy and paste cutout. Mainly I'm referring to the characters Lenny, Lori, and the mom in this case. I mean, tell me these aren't the three same hairstyles and different looking outfits. My second point focuses more on the sets of the movie. Now don't get me wrong, this movie works to make things and places match the cartoon's layout and help bring them to life. But the overall issue I have with the settings are that almost everything in this movie looks as if it was part of an elementary Christmas play. The pieces look oddly one-dimensional and the props and buildings look too polished and stiff. But that's not even the worst of it. The movie just seems like it never really ends. It kind of seems to go on forever. And for an hour and five minute movie, I feel like it could have made the same case in point in a shorter time. All in all, is this movie all terrible? No. There are actually some things tried here that aren't bad. You can clearly see the kid actors aren't great, but they are trying to keep the act going. And the kids aren't even annoying, which is frankly a surprise. But I'd say these kids did all right. I see that they tried, and that's more than I can ask for from a cast of four to nine-year-olds. All in all, I think this movie is a huge waste of time. But if you have kids and they love The Loud House, maybe make a night of it. That is, if you don't mind dragging scenes and cliched storylines. Anyway, I hope everyone liked the video, and sorry if this rant comes out a little long. I had a lot of points and tried to cover everything kind of fast. But thank you so much for watching, and stay awesome, guys. Bye. Shake it up, shake up the